With your kind attention, a song I will drill. All ye who must toil with the pick and the drill, and sweat for your bread in that hole in Oak Hill that goes down, down, down. Oh, I went to the mine and I asked for a job, a mule for to drive or a gangway to rob. The boss said, come on, boys, and follow the mob that goes down, down, down. On the strength of the job and the tune of this rhyme, we strolled into Pete's and drank 25 shine. Reported next morning, half dead, but on time to go down, 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 down. Reported next morning, half dead, but on time to go down, down, down. All aboard for the bottom, the top man did yell. We stepped on the cage and he ding-donged a bell. Through that hole in that hill, like a bat out of well, we went down, down, down. In wet or dry weather, that shaft always rains. There's a trembling of timbers and a clanking of chains. Just off of a spree, it flip-flopped our few brains, going down, down, down. Groped into the gangway, they gave me a scoop. The cut was just fired, muck heaped to the roof. We stooped and we scooped till our backs looped the loop, stooping down, 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 down. We stooped and we scooped till our backs looped the loop, stooping down, down. Down. On paydays I raved, my buddy oft swore. In fact, was enough to make both of us sore. When our wives spent our wages in the company store, while we're down, down, down. Now those company officials are foxy galoots. With company store bosses, they're all in cahoots. And the gangway's a river, you have to buy boots while you're down, down, down. Our backs are toil bent, our feet tired and slow. Soon the hairs on our head will be white as the snow. Then we fear we'll be shipped to that pokey below, broken down, 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 down. down. Then we fear we'll be shipped to that pokey below, broken down, down, down. I was born about 10,000 years ago, and there isn't very much that I don't know. I saw Peter, Paul, and Moses playing Ring Around the Roses, and I licked the guy that says it isn't so. I saw Satan as he looked the garden o'er, and I saw Adam and Eve driven from the door. From behind the bushes peeping, saw the apple they were eating, and I swear I am the guy what at the core. I taught Samson how to use his mighty hands. I was here before Columbus found these lands. And for Pharaoh's little kids, I built the pyramids and to Sahara carried all the sands. I was there when Alexander crossed the sea. It was I who cheered him on to victory. And when King Darius died, I was fighting by his side. So he gave his golden chariot to me. I was present at the Battle of the Nile. And did those bullets fly? Well, I should smile. And when Pharaoh hit the king with a cutlass on the wing, I was lying at the bottom of the pile. Queen Elizabeth, she fell in love with me. We were married in Milwaukee secretly. Oh, but I got tired and shook her and ran off with General Hooker of fighting Skeeters down in Tennessee. I was born about 10,000 years ago. 
And there's nothing in this world that I don't know I saw Peter, Paul, and Moses playing ring around the roses And I'll lick the guy that says it isn't so Come all you jolly lumbermen And listen to my song I'll tell you all a story But I won't detain you long Concerning some husky lumbermen Who once agreed to go And spend a winter recently On Collie's Run, I hope we landed in Lock Haven in the year of 73. A minister of the gospel one evening said to me, Are you the party of lumbermen who once agreed to go and spend a winter pleasantly on Collie's Run, I hope? Oh yes, we'd go to Collie's Run, to that we did allow. Provided they paid good wages, and our passage to and fro. Then we agreed to accompany them to Collie's Run, I ho. Yes, we agreed to accompany them to Collie's Run, I ho. To describe the way we suffered there is past the art of man. But to give a fair description, I'll do the best I can. Our food the dogs would snarl at, and our beds were on the snow. We suffered worse than slaves up there on Collie's Run, I hope. But now the spring has come again And the ice-bound streams are free We'll float our logs to Williamsport Our friends will haste to see Our sweethearts, they will welcome us And bid others not to go To that god-forsaken gahooly Of a place called Collie's Run, I hope There was a man named Johnny Sands who married Betty Haig And though she brought him golden land, she proved a terrible plague For oh, she was a scolding wife, full of caprice and whim She made poor Johnny tired of life, and she was tired of him, of him, and she was tired of him Said he, I think I'll drown myself in the river down below. Pray do, she said, you silly elf, I wished it long ago. Said he, upon the brink I'll stand while you run down the hill and push me in with all your might. Said she, my love, I will, I will. Said she, my love, I will. For fear that I should courage lack and try to save my life, pray tie my hands behind my back, I will, replied his wife. She tied them fast as you might think and when securely done, now stand, she said, upon the brink, while I prepare to run, to run, while I prepare to run. So down the hill his loving bride now ran with all her force to push him in, but he stepped aside and she fell in, of course. So splashing, dashing like a fish, oh, save me, Johnny Sands. I can't, my dear, though much I wish, for you have tied my hands, my hands, for you have tied my hands. Oh, I had a bird, and the bird pleased me, and I fit my bird under yonder tree, and the bird went. <whistles> well, I had a cat, and the cat pleased me, and I fit my cat under yonder tree, and the cat went. Meow. <whistles> and the bird went. <whistles> Well, I had a dog, and the dog pleased me, and I fit my dog under yonder tree, and the dog went roof, roof, and the cat went meow, and the bird went. 
Well, I had a duck, and the duck pleased me, and I fed my duck under yonder tree, and the duck went quack, quack, and the dog went roof, roof, and the cat went meow, and the bird went. Well, I had a cow, and the cow pleased me, and I fed my cow under yonder tree, and the cow went moo, and the duck went quack, quack, and the dog went roof, roof, and the cat went meow. And the little old bird went. Well, I had a frog, and the frog pleased me, and I fed my frog under yonder tree, and the frog went tung tung, and the cow went moo, and the duck went quack quack, and the dog went roof roof, and the cat went meow, and the little old bird went. Well, I had a giraffe, and the giraffe pleased me. I fed my giraffe under yonder tree, and the giraffe went. Because you see, a giraffe has a long neck, but no voice. And the frog went boom, boom, and the cow went moo, and the duck went quack, quack, and the dog went roof, roof, and the cat went meow, and the little old bird went. Well, I had a turkey, and the turkey pleased me, and I fed my turkey under yonder tree, and the turkey went, <laughs> and the giraffe went, and the frog went, boom, boom, and the cow went, and the duck went quack quack, and the dog went roof roof, and the cat went meow, and that little old bird went. I've got a mule and her name is Sal. Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. She's a good old worker and a good old pal. Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal. We've hauled some barges in our day, filled with lumber, coal, and hay. And Every inch of the way from Albany to Buffalo. Low bridge, everybody down. Low bridge for a coming to a town. And you'll always know your neighbor, you'll always know your pal if you've ever navigated on the Erie Canal. We'd better get along on our wee old gal Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal You bet your life I'd never part with Sal Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal Get up there, mule, here comes a lock We'll make Rome about six o'clock Just one more trip and back we'll go, right back home to Buffalo. Low bridge, everybody down. Low bridge for a coming to a town. And you'll always know your neighbor, you'll always know your pal if you've ever navigated on the Erie Canal. When John Henry was a little bitty boy Setting on his mammy's knee He said that big bend tunnel on the sea and no line Is gonna be the death of me Lord, Lord, it's gonna be the death of me well, early Monday morning When the bluebirds begin to sing Oh, you could hear those hammers for a mile or more 
people listen to John Henry's hammer ring. Lord, Lord, listen to John Henry's hammer ring. Well, the captain, he said to John Henry, I'm gonna bring me a steam drill around. I'm gonna take that old steam drill out on the job. I'm gonna whoop that steel on down Lord, Lord, gonna whoop that steel on down John Henry, he say to the captain Oh, a man ain't nothing but a man But before I let that old steam drill beat me down I'll die with my hammer in my hand Lord, Lord, I'll die with my hammer in my hand John Henry, he started on the right hand And the steam drill, it started on the left Oh, before I let that old steam drill beat me down I'll hammer my poor self to death, Lord, Lord. I'll hammer my fool self to death. John Henry, he said to his shaker, Shaker, why don't you sing? Oh, I'm a throwing 12 pounds from the hips right on down. Listen to that cold steel ring, Lord, Lord, listen to that cold steel ring. Oh, the captain, he said to John Henry, Lord, I think this old mountain's caving in. John Henry, he said to the captain, Oh, my, ain't nothing but my hammer sucking wind. Lord, Lord, ain't nothing but my hammer sucking wind. John Henry, he said to his shaker, Shaker, why don't you pray? Cause if I should miss that six foot of steel, Tomorrow be your burying day, Lord, Lord. Tomorrow be your burying day. Now the man that invented the steam drill, well, he thought he was mighty fine. But John Henry drove about 15 feet while the steam drill only made nine. Lord, Lord, that steam drill only made nine. John Henry, he hammered on the mountain, and his hammer was striking fire. Oh, he hammered so hard that he broke his poor heart, and he laid down his hammer, and he died. Lord, Lord, he laid down his hammer, and he died. John Henry was buried by the railroad. He was buried in the sand. And every locomotive goes a roaring on by. Cries, there lies a steel driving man. Lord, Lord, there lies a steel driving man. Lord, Lord, there lies a steel driving man. From Maverick to McNary, only 60 miles away, came a heavily loaded logging train one cold December day. There was fireman Cleo Buren and Wade Jones, the engineer. The conductor's name was Wesley Clark, a man who knew no fear. Was on the Apache railway line, the trip was a routine run. We'll be back home, said Wesley Clark, before the setting sun. But little did he know what fate had planned for them that day. A few miles farther down the line, twas there the brakes gave way. The logging train was gathering speed, her whistle pierced the air. And though Wade Jones threw on the brakes, they wouldn't take the air. Then terror gripped those three stout men who were the engine's crew. We'd better jump, cried Wesley Clark. There's nothing more to do. 
He thought of all the folks ahead in that peaceful little town. And he knew that many would die that day if he couldn't slow her down. He started to jump, then changed his mind as a thought raced through his brain. Though it cost my life, it's worth the risk. I'll stay right with the train. The two men jumped, but Clark stayed on and breathed a silent prayer. Oh, God, he thought, please give me strength as he threw on the air. The brakes at first did not respond, though he tried with might and main. But his prayer was heard, and the brakes took hold and stopped the runaway train. Wes Clark was just a simple man, but his heart was brave and true. With plenty of chance to save his life, he stayed to see it through. And though he's been rewarded now with money and with fame, his greatest reward is yet to come. For God will know his name. <laughs>